Joel Embiid's hitting it wanting out of Philly. Giannis is saying he may not sign a new deal in Milwaukee, while reigning finals MVP Nikola Jokic is celebrating by turning up at a Drake concert back in Serbia. Right quick, 78.4% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so imagine how fast we could grow this channel if that percentage was just a tad bit less. Splash that sub box to support your boy so I can support you with the best content possible. Thank you so much for doing so, as you guys are the real MVPs. Now back to the content. Despite being an all-business superstar who's 100% committed to the team that drafted him, many people still find ways to hate on Serbian phenom Nikola Jokic. But in the aftermath of this man securing Denver, Colorado, its first NBA championship in the franchise's 47 years of existence, Jokic has proven to be the most likable NBA superstar. Firstly, instead of sticking it to the haters or rubbing in his success or stirring up any type of off-court drama as we've seen with so many top players across the NBA, Serbian Superman instead chose to travel directly from Ball Arena to the horse racing circuit. That choice was interrupted due to his commitment to attend a certain parade. When is parade? Thursday. No. <laughs> I need to go home. But he ended up enjoying it. I fucking want to stay on parade. This is the best. <laughs> and as mentioned in my comment section of a video from earlier this summer, now that Jokic has figured out he enjoys parades, the NBA is in trouble. After discovering that new hobby, Jokic didn't waste any time securing another championship, in which he celebrated 100 times more for, this time on the horse racing circuit, as Jokic kept running all the way to his horses. If you know, you know. Something that's become clear is that once Jokic retires, he will never return to America. As in all seriousness, it's refreshing to see someone as successful as Nicola stick to his roots and still embrace the small subtleties of life in his hometown overseas. However, when it was time to go about his business and what he made resemble side hustle, between his humble mindset, his leadership, his criminally underrated post scoring, his mind boggling shot making ability, and his will to win, Jokic had what it took and knew exactly how to map out and execute a championship winning formula for the state of Colorado. You know, I never win anything in my life, so, uh, but I think I know how, not how, like what the mindset needs to be, you know. When his leadership qualities have increased. Right now, he's an angry leader. This was just during the last time out. He's got that feistiness. Got right into his team. Look at Jokic. Great angles. Basketball poetry. Crowded by eight and six on the timer. Jokic trying to create the space. Spins off balance. Hook. Unbelievable. Jokic has to put it up. Falling away. Puts it up. Bang! For 47 years, the Denver Nuggets can finally call themselves NBA champions. You are an NBA champion, Nicola. How does that feel? It's good. It's good. The job is done, we can go home now. <laughs> More of us, like admittedly myself who was rocking with the Lakers, should have seen this Denver championship coming. Back in December, I should have taken his beastly 43-point, 14-rebound, 8-assist, 5-steal showing, where he shot a ridiculous 17-for-20 from the field, more seriously. Jokic did all of that in just 33 minutes played, by the way. Then in March, Jokic averaged 26.3 points, 12.8 rebounds, 9.4 assists, and 1.1 steals per game, making 69.8% of his two-pointers, 36.4% of his threes, and 82.7% of his free throws, equating to a ridiculous 71.2% true shooting mark while being a plus 99. But even after proceeding to average 30 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists over an entire playoff run on 62% true shooting, just out of this world production on the way to his first finals MVP and championship, the narrative still isn't based around him. Here was the main talking point from NBA legend Kevin Garnett in a recent podcast. Guess what? I'm expecting Anthony Davis to be MVP in these next two years or something. Real shit. It's time, bro. It's time. 
You can't let Joker come in the league and surpass. Nah, nah, That's nah. That's gonna be tough one. That's gonna be tough. Man, shit. Anthony Davis can do everything they can do. Anthony Davis can do everything Joker can do. He can do everything Embiid can do. The fuck are you talking about, dog? I'm expecting him to be MVP. If not this year, definitely next year. Straight up. And he's gonna have to take the reins of, yeah, I'm the best but player that mean, in the league. That, that, that means they're gonna have to be one of the top teams. I'm not even sure they're gonna be one of the top teams. Who? Lakers. They're gonna have to be one of the top. They, for him to be in MVP conversation, his Lakers play. gotta be like a top three. His play. Top three teams. His play is first. I mean, his, his play, he gonna, he gonna. No, he's not. Numbers, no, no, no. He gonna give you numbers. Who? Anthony Davis. When? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What the fuck you talking about, P? Stop, oh, man. We chatting. We chopping. One of the main things that makes Nikola Jokic so likable is how he steadily, slowly but surely progressed into the player he is to this day. The kid from Sambor's journey was anything but an overnight success story. Back in 2012-13, he averaged under two points per game, not in the NBA, but in the Serbian League. He was drafted into the NBA during a Taco Bell commercial in 2014. He then opted to stay overseas, where he played in the ABA League for a year, winning both MVP and top prospect. In 2015-16, he was named to the all-rookie first team in the NBA. The next year, he finished second in MIP voting. Despite again missing the playoffs in 2017-18, that was the first season where he finally put up all-star numbers. Then, in a year where he made the NBA playoffs for the first time and fueled the Nuggets into the second round, he was an all-star, a member of the All-NBA First Team, and named Serbian Player of the Year. In the bubble, he would get Denver into the conference finals. Next came his first MVP award in 2020-21, then his second consecutive MVP trophy and fourth consecutive All-NBA appearance. And his eighth year in the association most recently saw him, of course, become finals MVP and secure the Nuggets their first championship ever. Jokic's journey is just as admirable as his humbleness and exemplifies to us that no matter your background or how unlikely something may seem, reaching the top is always a possibility if you're willing to trust the process, put in the hours, and stay grounded. The Joker's poise is definitive and unmatched by anyone in this industry, the main reason making him as likable as he is. If you aren't sold on the humbleness and poise of the kid from Sambor, I'll leave you with this infamous interview after Nikola casually became the first player ever to score 30 points, grab 20 rebounds, and drop 20 assists in an NBA Finals game. Tim McMahon, ESPN, I know you're uh, not a guy who cares a lot about your stats, but when you have a line that's never been accomplished before in, in finals history, what do you think of that? Um, to be honest, I just think of it's a win, you know, because if we lose, nobody's going to even mention Even I mean, to be honest, I, I don't care. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's just a stat. Sweetest part of it all, maybe not for Jokic, who's too busy worrying about his horses, but for his diehard fans, is the doubters that had their narratives destroyed. This guy ain't got out of the second round since he started winning MVP. I don't want to hear anything about Jokic being a front runner for the MVP right now. Think about the duos around the, in the Western Conference. You think about KD and D-Book, you think about LeBron and AD. Would you pick Murray and Jokic over any one of those duos? I would. And he had AD and, and Shambles last round. Shout! Anthony Davis just stares at him. Are we looking at Jokic as a top five player in the game? A lot of people don't. Okay, well, don't come giving me this stuff about a triple-double. I don't want to hear that. Joker ain't no joke. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> I mean, when you start batting, it's easy, you know, so. <laughs> then there's the worst receipt of them all from yours truly. This was not the year for your boy D-Flo, as Jokic even found a way to quietly destroy the flamethrowing prediction maestro. Bruh. Three of the next four games, and yes, there will be at least three or four games left in this series, will take place in sunny Los Angeles, with Kim Kardashian sitting courtside, combined with the additional 25 baddies with clout, and one celebrity Bruh. after the Bruh. next sitting courtside, Bruh. including LeJack Nicholson. Trust me, the pressure for Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic is about to be unheard of, and these foreigners are gonna quite simply crack. The fuck are you talking about, dog? The power of the Joker and the Kardashian curse dented my resume as an NBA YouTuber, something I can only learn and get better from. 
Jokic's poise and humbleness is without a doubt something I have and will continue to take notes on and utilize in my commentary as much as possible as the years progress. This was your boy D Flow, and I'll see you next video.